Hi there folks, Joel Self, Outdoor Instructor here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel and to today's video, which is gonna be about tying an Italian hitch onto a carabiner in a sort of climbing or scrambling setting where we're trying to be nice and slick and efficient. Before we get into that though, I want to remind anyone who's new to the channel that if you're looking for climbing, Land Rover, general outdoor content, this is the channel to be on. So do remember to hop down below, click both the subscribe button and the bell icon, and that way every time a new video comes out, you'll get a notification about it. All that being said, let's get into the video. So I'm not gonna go too much into the whys and wheres of using an Italian hitch, but I will give you one quick example, just so you've got the flavor of where you might use this. An Italian hitch is a hitch commonly used for belaying on scrambling terrain. So maybe where there's just a really short rocky step between myself and my partner, and I've just got to bring them up a short way over that on belay. So quickly pop a sling round a boulder, etc. obviously making sure that that's all suitable, and then sticking them on an Italian hitch can be really quick. So I'll hold this nice and straight on for you so you can see at full pace, an Italian hitch in, and we can have them on belay. Now it's obviously really important that we don't prioritize speed over safety, so we still absolutely have to make sure that our belay is built well and is gonna do the job equally, that the knot is correct and that that carabiner gets done up. Really, really important. We also don't wanna skimp on other things like our own safety. So here I've opted not to wear a harness and um, to clove hitch in because it would just make this a bit messy for you as the viewer. Um, but in a real life situation, if my partner needs to be on belay, I'm probably gonna be attached to something because it probably means that we've just come over some fairly uh, interesting terrain where that protection is needed. But let's break down what's happened here. We're gonna take the rope out for a moment and run through it at a slower pace than uh, our sort of real life timing. So if I just hold that so it's facing you a bit more clearly, you'll be able to see. We're gonna clip our rope in just like clipping a quick draw. And that leaves us with the front side of the carabiner, the side that will be facing us as the climber or scrambler. We're gonna grab that back side of the rope, the one coming out the back side of the carabiner, and instead of holding it really close to the carabiner where moving it is gonna manipulate that carabiner a lot, we're actually gonna grab it a little way down. That allows us a bit more flexibility uh, before that carabiner starts to twist and turn. So, reaching past the front strand to the back, we grab the rope and with our thumb pointing up towards the sky, we're gonna bring that rope across the front one and then clip it into the gate, making sure we do up the carabiner and give it a quick squeeze there. That's left us with our Italian hitch on a done up carabiner, ready to belay straight off the bat. Now, like I've said, we're not prioritizing speed over safety. So it is important that you make sure this is a properly functioning Italian hitch and that that carabiner is done up. Once it is though, you're all set to start belaying your friend in and getting them over that little rock step. I really hope that's a helpful video for you. Do remember to subscribe whilst you're here. And of course, if you liked the video, then go drop a like on it as well. I've been Joel Self Outdoor Instructor. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.